So today's Wednesday. This is the last couple of days before we leave. I have a flight on Saturday um, that's gonna take me to Bahrain, to the capital city. And uh, my whole Saturday is just gonna be flying and at different airports. And I really do not enjoy um, spending time on airports. I mean, I don't mind flying. I'm not, I don't have a fear of flying or anything, but it's so boring on airports. And just knowing like, my whole Saturday is going to be spent on different airports. Gives me fucking anxiety. Anyway, today's Wednesday. I just did like, the, the week before a fight, I don't train hard at all. I just let my body rest. However, one thing I do is to burn off the last grams of fat. I pretty much do the opposite of high intensity inter intervals. Like the, the opposite of HIIT training. And it's called LIS low intensity steady state cardio so so basically today I was on the treadmill for one hour and it's not like one hour of killing myself it's one hour of just it's just basically one hour of, of walking or jogging and it should be at such an easy pace that you can carry a carry on a conversation while you're doing it I put on a chest strap I wear the watch and then I walk for half an hour and then I jog for half an hour or I get on the elliptical for half an hour or get on the stationary bike but it's it's really low intensity I try to keep my heart rate below 110 beats per minute because when it's in that pulse range that's when you use fat as your primary source of fuel because I'm not trying to burn carbs right now see when you're doing sprints you're burning carbs right now I want to burn fat and burning fat is what I'm doing right now like your everyday low intensity stuff when you're doing that your primary source is fat your stored body fat so I just get on the treadmill and then I'm on it for an hour I break a sweat you know I don't get winded or anything like that I don't want to feel tired afterwards but that I've found is uh, it's a great way to uh, to lose the, the last percents of fat and to get that to get really that's how I get ripped that and diet of course but it, this helps so now I'm just heading home um, a light little meal lunch drink some water and uh, then do, do a couple of rounds of MMA tonight so I'm back home it's time to make some food uh, today uh, I'm not really, I'm not really eating for taste right now. It's not, it's, it's just fuel, you know, the necessities. Uh, it's not a lot. Um, I mean, it's fight week. I'm just trying to lose the last bit of weight, but I'm not trying to starve myself. So um, right now, what I'm working with is, I brought it out for you, wait. Just some greens. I got two eggs here, bell pepper, some broccoli. I'm just gonna chop that up and uh, put it in the frying pan and uh, yeah make an omelet I got a scale here I'm trying to weigh my food so I know how much of everything I'm eating I think that's too much no it's okay I weigh my food and, and then I put it in, in an app I got an app on my phone uh, just to count the calories. Uh, this is not a sponsor, but I use the LifeSum app. It looks like this. And then you just, um, then I put everything in there and it counts like how, how much of everything I've eaten, how many carbs, how much protein, how much fat, and uh, the calories. What I like about that is it takes the guesswork out of uh, cutting weight. It's made life a whole lot easier. Just, uh, shit. It's kind of nice knowing like, yeah, you can eat more. Um, it's nice knowing that you can eat some more. And or my problem is oftentimes it's, uh, it's not that I eat too much. I don't eat enough, you know. I don't know how much I have to work with, how many calories I've eaten, how many calories I've burned off. And uh, it's a lot easier now that I know. Like I keep a heart rate monitor on. 
when uh, when I train, uh, when I run and do stuff, I keep the chest strap on, and uh, when I'm just doing like MMA or boxing or hitting the bag, I wear this uh, whoop strap. They actually gave it to me, so that was nice. I put this on. It's good because it's flat and it doesn't have whatever. Basically, I count my calories. I try to be pretty strict with it. And uh, at that point, it's just mathematics. Just burn off X amount of calories and eat X amount of calories. Right now, though, the last couple of days, it's not really that much about calorie restriction. It's more about what you put in your body. Um, I'm trying to avoid salts because uh, salts make you retain uh, water. And retaining water at this point is uh, the enemy. Uh, limit the carbs. I'm not cutting out the carbs. I'm just lim limiting it. And uh, I'm drinking a whole lot of water. Today I'm supposed to drink seven of these. Uh, that's seven liters. That's what is that? That's like three gallon. No, two gallons. And uh, I have a reminder on my phone every hour to drink one liter of water. So you see, every hour there's an alarm that goes off reminding me to drink water. Basically, you just chug down water every hour, one liter, one liter. And uh, you're gonna, and since I'm not eating salts, I'm gonna be, if you excuse the language, I'm gonna be peeing out a ton of salt from my body. And the idea is, I'm drinking water, I'm going to the bathroom like three times every half hour, and just flushing everything out. So I'm keeping the water intake really high, but I'm cutting out the salt intake. So I'm peeing out all of the salt and all of that extra weight. And there you have it. Just some greens and two eggs, steaming hot. All right, so when I'm not eating and not working out, what I like to do is just like in between sessions, I, I try to relax as much as possible. If I'm not working, if I'm not at my job, I'm just trying to live my life as, you know, it's going to sound like a cliche, but stress-free as possible. Just kick back and uh, basically, I'm either watching a series on Netflix or I'm playing video games. Just trying to relax. Like two hours before uh, working out, I'm going to eat a pre-workout meal, a light meal, and uh, just keep downing water in the meantime. And uh, since I'm going to play some... Apex Legends, I'm gonna down some caffeine and uh, hopefully get some kills. Alright guys, it's time for the pre-workout meal. Let me show you what I eat. So this is what we're working with today. This is Letkvarg. I don't know. Quark. I think it's Quark in English. Um, it's, uh, it's low in calories, high in protein. For a protein source, some unsalted peanut butter to get some fats in there and a banana I'm gonna slice that up in half so my pre-workout meals I like to eat um, two hours before I work out you don't want to be full when you're doing like MMA type training or wrestling or, or working out at all I mean strength training fine but if I'm doing a uh, high intensity cardio stuff like if I'm gonna go run or wrestle or spar or just do like uh, anything really, I like to uh, either do it on an empty stomach or uh, have at least two hours between my last meal and my workout. So half a shit, half a banana is gonna get me through carb-wise the workout that I'm gonna do today. It's it's gonna be an intense session but a shorter one. I'm not gonna do the full workout. So what I do is I took uh, about 100 grams of the quark. That's about 50 to 60 calories. Half a banana. I don't know how many calories that is, but I will find out later. And uh, maybe 15 grams of peanut butter. Add it all in here together, and uh, that's good fuel. I don't like to eat too much at all. If I'm gonna work out, like eating not enough or eating too much, the choice is always not enough. But I got the scale here, and now I know this is just right. I think this is gonna hit the spot. It looks like this.
Not too much, but just enough. So I just got done with the last MMA session before the fight. The only thing I'm gonna do from now is just lay on the couch, maybe go for a walk, a light jog, maybe shadow box some, but I'm, I'm just resting now. And uh, it feels good. All the hard work is done. The hardest part is pulling back right now because when you get nervous, you just wanna keep going. You, you wanna keep training hard and you wanna do this and that. And before, you know, when I was younger, I used to train hard to like, I used to spar hard like a couple of days before the fight and just just show up to the fight tired, you know? Um, now I'm feeling really fresh. Uh, I could have done the whole session today. I, I went in, uh, did some light rolling, and then I sparred maybe eight rounds, eight rounds of MMA wrestling, and uh, I felt really good. And then I just walked off and then I said, okay, I'm, I'm satisfied. I've broken a sweat, you know, stepped on the scale, uh, my weight's good, I need to drop some more, but uh, it, it's gonna drop down in the in the coming days. Uh, my resting heart rate, I checked today, was down to uh, 43, I think that's, uh, that's a record for me. Resting yourself into shape is, is really working out, and I feel like I'm going super saiyan, like these it's a wonderful feeling like the the last couple of days before a fight you feel like you're going super saiyan for all the Dragon Ball Z fans out there I try not to think about it right now you know how big the the moment is and what an opportunity it is afterwards when it's all said and done I'm gonna I'm gonna look back at it and and smile because uh, for me you know getting even getting here is an accomplishment I really started from nothing and just working, working, working year after year through all the injuries and ups and downs and just staying disciplined and staying on the path. And uh, I believe it's uh, the reward is, uh, is soon to come, you know? So now I'm just gonna go home. Where's my keys at? I put my keys. Now I'm just gonna go home and, and rest, you know? Have a good night's sleep and uh, then repeat the same process tomorrow. And go to the gym and get on the treadmill, burn some fat, and, uh, and just recover and rest myself into world champ shape. Yeah, that's it.